Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm actually testing an external mic here, some cheap Amazon one, but I'm basically going to give you guys the rundown on what I did to hack up my car and where I cut and stuff. So this is the first time you guys have probably seen it on my YouTube channel, but I did a pretty butchered job on this, on the cutting here. Since I got my new flares in here, I'm going to just give you guys, or I'm going to show you guys what I did here. Like it's by no means pretty since it was, this was my first car ever hacked up. So I'm gonna turn it around here. No, yeah, I got a haircut from last time. But yeah, I'm gonna turn this. That's so random. I don't know why I said that. But so I'm gonna turn this around and show you guys my the way I cut this up and explain to you what to look for if you're gonna cut up your car or your Panther platform. But all right, so we're on the back side here. So I didn't know how to cut up a car for wide body, but as you can see, I just sent it <laughs> with the cutoff wheel. And apparently a lot of guys cut this first layer off, then they take the back side and fold it over. But I did not know that at the time, so it's going to be real fun once it starts rusting inside here. <laughs> but I'm hoping it doesn't. But if it does, then I guess I'll have to start a new project at some point. But And with the doors here... Looks like that. Still gotta get those Mexico controllers on. But yeah, it's pretty butchered inside here. <clears throat> Just cut it with the uh, angle grinder. Came up here. I tried to like follow the door line here, but it didn't work out too well. But didn't also want to cut into the door jam too much to break that seal inside there. So, but yeah, it's got a nice little gap in there. And then with these flares, I'm going to throw them on here just to get, show you guys like what's going on and whatnot. I don't know, what do you guys think with uh, if I just took like some expanding foam and just like sprayed it inside there? I've thought about that, but I don't know how well that would hold up. Like from afar, you can't really tell. And with the front here, I'll actually pop the hood for this one. All right, so with this one, as you can see, it's pretty butchered too. But here's the inner fender. <clears throat> Depending on how much you cut and how low you go, you probably will have rubbing issues on the fender liner. I didn't have issues until I put these winter tires on because they're so tall. But So I just took a razor blade, just cut through it because it's pretty easy to cut. <laughs> And the other option was just to like take these fender liners out completely, but I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah, this video is showing you guys the true colors of this car. So I think this was the first time I mounted it. I'm like, that's way too high. So then I brought it down a little bit. Then I went too low. Then blah, blah, blah. And yeah, pretty bad. So I'm probably going to get a new fender at some point. And just put new fenders on the front <clears throat> and then just recut it all but keep in mind if you do cut the front these front fenders there is a big fat wiring harness that runs between the between the fender and the fender liner I'll, i took it out of here all right dropped the fender liner out and then brought it up here i'll show you i see it right under this bar here that yeah, runs up in in the fender above the fender liner so you want to drop your fender liner out then bring it up into the engine bay before you start cutting because you'll cut right into that like if i didn't move it my angle grinder would have went right through that so here's that here's that fat wiring harness i was talking about so what I did is took this whole fender liner out, brought it above the fender liner, zip tied it against the fender here, and just brought it down there. So it's like up above anything you're cutting from. <clears throat> That'll save you a lot of hassle because this is a thick wad of wires here you don't want to cut into. But yeah, like from afar it looks fine, but as soon as you get close, it's just a... Uh, big pile of poop you know <laughs> like i know a lot of guys would try like cover this stuff up and like 
see they did a better job than they did but like i said this is the first time i've like tried to cut into my car for a wide body so <clears throat> just made do with what i could uh and real soon here i'm i don't know if i should tell you guys but i'm gonna try the ats brembo brakes on here because they're a bolt-on brembo kit for the c5 corvette and I figured since I'm running adapter brackets for a C5 Corvette caliper, the ATS Brembos. So there are four piston Brembo, two on each side. And this is just a two piston. Like, I don't need it per se, but it would just be cool to run a like legit Brembo uh, caliper on here. Some guys might think it's stupid, but if you could run a legit four piston Brembo in here why not you know but yeah anyway that being said I'm gonna throw these fenders on just to show you guys like how I mounted in or so I will just be running self tappers through them for now but I'm I do have plans of putting the the rib nuts in there <clears throat> eventually after I get a new fender here <clears throat> yeah whole reason I'm showing you guys this is because I don't want you cutting into anything that you shouldn't be cutting into. I'm like, just showing you like what the first time might look like. I'm not trying to cover up anything, you know. People will just throw shade if they want to. I don't care. They'll be like, oh, you stuck that wide body in your car. You should have cut it some other way. But, you know, it is what it is. And these are cheap cars right now. You might go up in price later on, who knows. But yeah, I'm going to throw these these clinch flares on and show you guys what I'm working with. Alright, so... That's basically what that will look like. I know I had this cut before, but I'm planning on getting the Duraflex side skirts. So I can run that all the way down the Duraflex side skirt and then have a little side splitter that comes out. Let's throw this front one on real quick. It's not perfect, but that'll be the gist of that one. <clears throat> A lot of people hating, but I like it. Now, only if I had a little bit wider front tire. You know? <clears throat> so these are their slider, the clinch flares. These are their slider flares. Usually I got that front lip going on there, but I took it off because it got beat up so bad in the snow. <clears throat> yeah, let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I'm going through with it, but I just like to know what you guys think about stuff I do. So, so This will be the version 2 of this car. And I'm hoping to do a new side skirt, new front lip to kind of match it all. And I'm not sure if I'm going to mold these in yet, but... Here, I'll close this trunk here, give you guys a full effect here <clears throat> yeah it's not everybody's favorite but I personally like doing things to vehicles that weren't intended to be done this way if that makes any sense yeah I'll give you guys the the full whatchamacallit here yeah there should be 
brand new slider flares. There's my crazy neighbor. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to get these on. It's going to be a whole, won't be a whole new look, but it'd be nice to freshen it back up. that'll be it for this video let me know what you guys think yeah i'm gonna try to do all the body work before i throw these on but like this front bumper needs repaint and i got all these little dents everywhere and all that good stuff but i really wanted to integrate a fender vent too at some point or maybe like a vent in front of the front wheels here or maybe even the rear but i don't know we'll see it's gonna be a long process or a big project but just want to give you guys an update where I'm at <clears throat> in terms of what I'm doing with this car yeah it's been a it's been a long project well not really but with everything going on with the family I haven't had a chance to do anything with it so <clears throat> yeah it's kind of where we're at and I'll catch you guys on the next one.